Hello friends, welcome to ADP Tech Trainer. Topic of today's session is 14 important questions answers of Six Sigma for interview. This session is important and useful for all business and industries persons. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel ADP Tech Trainer yet, then subscribe by clicking the red button below for more important videos. So, let's start today's session. Question number one. What is Six Sigma? Answer. Six Sigma is a disciplined, statistical-based, data-driven approach and continuous improvement methodology for eliminating defects in a product, process or service. Question number two. What is the difference between specification limits and control limits? Answer. Specification limits are the targets set for the process product by customer or market performance or internal target. Control limits on the other hand are the indicators of the variation in the performance of the process. Question number 3. Explain standard deviation. Answer. Standard deviation is the most accurate method of measuring variation. It measures the degree of variation in a set of measurements by calculating the average spread of data around the mean. Question number 4. What does CPK 1.33 mean? Answer. Process Capability Index CPK is a statistical tool to measure the ability of a process to produce output within customer's specification limits. CPK equals greater than 1.33 indicates that the process is capable and meets specification limits. Question number 5. Describe the two quality management methodologies used for Six Sigma execution and design. Answer. Two quality management methodologies is 1. DMADV methodology. 2. DMAIC methodology. DMADV methodology is used when a product process is non-existent and the company has to develop the same. While DMAIC is used when the existing process or product is not performing properly or meeting customer expectations and is required to be optimized. DMAIC is used for product process retrieval. Question number 6. Who introduced Six Sigma? Answer. Mr. Bill Smith introduced this quality improvement methodology, Six Sigma, to Motorola in 1986. Question number 7. What is FMEA in Six Sigma? Answer. FMEA stands for Failure Mode Effect Analysis. It is a tool used by Six Sigma practitioners to anticipate risk within a process, system or product, so as develop a risk mitigation plan. It uses a scoring model based on severity, occurrence, and detectability. Question number 8. What is meant by COPQ in Six Sigma? Answer. Cost of poor quality, C. OPQ is the cost caused through producing defects. Question number 9. What is the definition of DPMO or DPPM? Answer. DPMO is defects per million opportunities and DPPM is defective parts per million. Question number 10. What is regression? Answer. Regression analysis is a technique used to define relationship between an output variable and a set of input variables. Question number 11. What is difference between CPK and PPK? Answer. CPK is Process Capability Index, which measures how close a process is running to its specification limits, relative to the natural variability of the process and PPK is Process Performance Index, which verifies if the sample that have been generated from the process is capable of meeting customer CTQS requirements. Question number 12. What is a Master Black Belt Six Sigma? Answer. Master Black Belts are experts responsible for the strategic deployment of Six Sigma within an organization. They promote and support improvement activities in all business areas of their organization as well as at suppliers and customers. Question number 13. What is Six Benefits of Six Sigma? Answer. 1. Improve customer relations. 2. Reduce cost of poor quality. 
3. Reduce defects in process, product and service. 4. Reduces operation cost. 5. Improve efficiency. 6. Improve process accuracy and control. Question number 14. What is natural tolerance limit? Answer. Natural tolerances are the control limits placed at three times the standard deviation from the process average. These limits are sometimes referred to as three sigma limits. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. If this video is helpful to you then like, share, comment below and if still you have not subscribed the channel then subscribe it by clicking the red icon below. For getting notification for new videos related to production, QC, QA, marketing, purchase, planning, sales, part develop, management please click the bell icon below. Thank you.